Welcome back to Hangzhou, the famous balcony area. The famous opera house there. Wonderful design. After that, men's singles, we stay with the same discipline and uh, another absolutely vital match as far as the two players are concerned because both lost yesterday. Uh, so both need a win today to keep their hopes of qualifying for the semi-finals alive. It's uh, Li Shi Feng, the Asian Games gold medalist against the world champion Kunlawut Widisan. So this is the way things look at the moment. Antonsen and Christie won both their matches yesterday and they will play this evening on court number two. So it's always uh, an interesting scenario when the two winners from the first day play each other on the second day and the two losers from the first day play each other on the second day. It always means that on the third day and last day of the group play, uh, that there will be at least one match within the group that is a deciding match to qualify for the semi-finals. So Li Shifang and Kun Lawut Widesan, the two losers from yesterday. One of these two players will have a chance of qualifying for the semi-finals, providing they win today. So the Asian Games gold medalist Li Shifang won his gold medal in this very city earlier this year. Went up to a career high on the world rankings, did Li Shifang, two days ago. And the reigning world champion invited to the World Tour Finals as world champion. He didn't actually qualify as right. He didn't finish in the top eight men's singles players on the race to the World Tour Finals. Only finished at number nine, but the world champions from the year get invited to the World Tour Finals. And in the Olympic year, it is the Olympic champions that get an automatic invitation. Well, this will be a tenth meeting between these two players, and the world champion has the Red. slight advantage from the previous nine, but the last time they met Red. was in the final this of side. the US Receive. Open earlier this year. A 300 events, two straight games it was in the final of the US Open, 21-15, 21-18. He's the number four seed here, is Li Shifeng. He'll turn 24 next month, born in Nanchang, the capital of Jiangxi province. And he is making his debut at the World Tour Finals. The only men's singles player in this year's tournament who hasn't participated in the World Tour Finals previously. Winner of two World Tour titles this year, the All England Championships and, of course, the US Open that we were mentioning just now when he played his opponent of today in the final. His opponent, Kun Lawud Widersan, won the world title in Copenhagen, going one better than his silver medal in Tokyo last year. 22 years of age, born in the Thai capital of Bangkok. And he won two World Tour titles this year, as did his opponents. He won in India, beating Victor Axelsson in the final, and also 
won his home event, the Thailand Open. That was a 500 event. So he lost yesterday to Jonathan Christie, 18 and 8 in 46 minutes. And I was telling you, Li Shi Feng lost to Antonsen, the 2020 winner of the World Tour Finals, also in two straight games. Sven Suri of Belgium is our umpire for this one. And Mai Lan Yen from Vietnam, the service judge. Ready to play. Sun Jun, Chinese men's singles coach, former world champion himself. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Kun Lavut Vitizan, Thailand. On my left, Li Shi Feng. China. Kun Lavut Vititsan to serve. Lavo. Play. So the World Championship gold medalist are getting this Group B match underway against the Asian Games gold medalist. Li Shi Fang. I wasn't really paying attention with the so toss of the over. coin. Who chose One what? Love. Who, I think it was uh, Vitisan who... Uh, but well, I'm not sure because I really didn't pay enough attention either. But I think Vitisan chose and Threaded that down the line. Service over. One all. Widersan has struggled with injuries since winning his World Championship gold medal. Back injury. And then had a, a long period where he wasn't terribly well. Had a high fever. So we go back to one. But it was almost, Steen, I know there was physical problems, uh, injury problems, but it was almost as if that World Championship final, which lasted an hour and 49 minutes against Naraoka, uh, as if that had completely left him <laughs> drained <laughs> for months afterwards. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, yeah, it's a big accomplishment for Thailand to get the uh, World Men's Singles title. And... Uh, Along with Vitesan, the promises that he gave as a junior player that so quickly fulfilled them. I, I hope that um, over. that he doesn't get sort of like too satisfied too early, um, so that he finds the hunger again. With back injuries, it's it's complicated sometimes to to cure a back injury. You need to get stronger mm. uh, uh, in. in uh, in the muscles in, in the back, and, and that can uh, that can take time before that's accomplished, and before you uh, gain uh, good form again. Three, two. Yes, he was three-time world junior champion. And his world championship gold was a third gold medal for. Players from Thailand. 
across the five disciplines. Oh. Wow, that is a big missed opportunity from Widersan. Four, two. And of course, the Thai player was a finalist at the World Tour Finals a couple of years ago when the event was staged in Bali. Lost out to Axelsen in the final. Oh, was that a slight miss hit? Yeah, it was a wonderful Seven shot one. anyway. I think it was on purpose, but uh, I think he might have been able to leave it. Could have gone all right. Well, Widgerson on his forehand side yeah. didn't need to play that final shot. Now, I thought this man yesterday, Steam, was a little bit passive in his uh, play against Anna Zantensen. Yeah. Uh, I, I think Antonsen played a, a tactically uh, great game. I agree. Uh, and I, uh, I have him as favourite in, in this match Seven here uh, on, Five, on form, um, but I'm not sure he's, uh, he's in Asian Games um, shape, Li Xifeng. Well, I just remember his All England final against Xiu Qi, uh, and I felt that he was, you know, showed his attacking style of play. And I, I remember that in my mind, and I felt that he, you know, like today, of course, he's, you need to outmaneuver your opponent first before you start trying to go for yeah. winning shots. I felt he was a little too passive. But I think you're right. I think Antonsen, in all probability, just played such a clever game. Well, this is a long, grueling rally. Beautiful. That's beautiful. beautiful. Four, five. I think one of the things we're going to see with, uh, with the uh, extended World Tour, where we have 31 tournaments, which I think is great. Uh, but also we have, we had in this season, we had a little reminiscent of the uh, COVID era with the Asian Games being postponed. So normally we wouldn't have had Asian Games yeah. in the Olympic qualification period. Um, but, but I think we're going to see uh, players that are more up and down in terms of shape because they're going to have to prioritize some tournaments and that means that in uh, some periods of time they're going to have to be playing tournaments but actually be in uh, some sort of heavy practice leading up to uh, a bigger goal in the future. Yeah, I agree. One small point though. This is the 30th World Tour event of the year, and there will only be 30 next year because New Zealand has pulled out of this cycle. Yeah, but there's come, um, there's come an extra a tournament in Macau is reinstated as a Super 300 For next event. year. For next year. Yeah, but this year... This year there's only 30. Exactly. And that's just wrong. Five, four. No, Sven Suri is not allowing the court attendant on to mop the court.
good follow up. Oh my goodness, oh. how did he get that back? He missed it. Well, he's going to challenge that and he'll win that challenge, I'm pretty certain. Li Shi Fang. I saw that as challenge. clearly wide. Yeah, me too. Li Shi Feng challenges called in. <laughs> Out chant the fans here in Hangzhou. Yeah, good challenge. Correction, out. Serves over. 6-5. Play. Seven five. Oh. Yeah, love that cross net down. Over. From Vitesan, not too Seven. often, but, but the ability Change. to play it gives you a lot more opportunities in the follow-ups when you uh, attack and have to follow up on the front court. Yeah, he does have delightful skills in general, doesn't he? Yeah, fantastic. Great to have world champion and Asian Games champion at 22 and 23 years of age. This could be a, yeah. a rivalry building for the future. There's other youngsters that want to that want in on it. Uh, I'm certain, but um, Naraoka being one of them. Naraoka, Lakshya Sen, perhaps Bing Hong Yang. Oh, that's a lovely, lovely drop. And again, it's this, the Easy, Eight, relaxed, hitty motion seven. causes the disguise. Beautiful skill. Thank you. So first time that Widdersan has been in the lead. Yeah, that's nice. Nine seven. And that's one of the situations where I feel that Li Shifang is a little bit um, after in pace to be deemed in good shape by me at least. If he was in, in, in top form, that he would have gotten to that and he would have gotten to it a lot quicker. Consider that just a, a little over Seven. a year ago, Li Shifeng in uh, events 
such as the French Open, had to be promoted from the reserve list yes. to actually get into the tournament. And within a year, he's won the All England title and the Asian Games gold medal. I mean, that is a fast progression. And he, he's, um, he's the um, part of the class that really suffered from COVID. Where yes. They were going to develop from strong junior players, make their way into the senior circuit. That, that was um, delayed, that arrival. That's just wide. And they didn't have that grounding that from over. playing regularly on the International Challenger circuit no. and the 100 events before coming into the uh, HSBC BWF World Tour events, which is 300 and above. So they didn't have that grounding no. background. There's going to be a few loose shots in between. That's why they've lost the first match here, these two. Yeah, that's nice. I that guess that's what you're alluding to, Jill, when he makes this yes. move backwards and can fire his smashes straight yeah. cross body and, yeah. and follow up. And that, that's when he really unleashes um, energy and becomes um, threatening to the opponents. That one. Good defense by Vitesan. Yeah, he's broken the strings of his racket, Li Shi Feng. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He had half a thought about trying Sun to run off and change his <laughs> racket. <laughs> I've seen Victor Axelsson do that, but no other men's singles player. So it is the world champion who has the one-point advantage here at the mid-game interval of the opening game. Yeah, nothing he can do when the strings have gone like that. Court one, 20 seconds. Court one, 20 seconds. Coach, return to the chair. Coach. Well, both coaches using every second of their allotted time. 11 10. Talk to their players. Oh, that's brilliant. That's found the line. What a super shot. Twelve, ten. Yeah, it's not the first that he's um, placed on the line. With the sign. Chinese players in the men's singles here at the World Tour Finals. It's the sixth time that that's happened at the 16th end of year finale. First time, though, in six years that we've had two Chinese men's singles players. Challenge. Challenge here. challenges called out. See that, uh, but, uh, 
Let's see what Hawkeye says. But to me, it's a sign that China is uh, building a strong team for Thomas Cup as well. Yeah, that's way long. What a very peculiar yeah. challenge. challenge. And the new generation is um, One challenge remaining. about to get ready to fly after yeah. Chen Long and uh, Lin Dan yeah. generation. Well, in fact, China have had uh, the maximum two qualifiers in all five disciplines here this year, yeah. the World Play. Tour Finals. Very strong team. And yeah. Especially the, the last couple of tournaments, they've been uh, really dominant. Yeah. Good block. Yeah, that's nice. I thought I missed someone of those young generation, and now I know who it was. It was Li Si Jia and uh, yeah. Si Yong from Malaysia. So yeah. Lots of exciting uh, young players coming forward. There's also some Indonesians, but they're even younger. Slice across court from Widersam. Immediately to the kit's box to tail down because he knew that his opponent, having dived, the court will be mopped. And it's a little bit like, like yesterday, like you mentioned, Jill, that Li Xufeng is not as much in control Thank of the you. rallies than I think he was like he would like to be mm. and when he gets the chance well he, he can't really um, well, he hasn't to the extent I thought been able to capitalize on it in this match here. 30 all. Time the defensive shot there with your son. just so calm and collected isn't it that final that shot over. from the world champion 14 15 it looks as if he's going to push it hard and then just guided it across court into the open space beautiful Is this the crucial phase? 
three point cushion for Lee Shifun. Oh, that's just delightful, isn't it? Service over. 50-17. Well, a lot of other players, when they play cross shots like that, I, I have this feeling, oh, is it staying in or is it going to be a mistake? I, I don't have that feeling at all when I see Vitsis on trying mm. to play it. I'm just certain that it's going to be a successful shot. Good rally. It's gone wide. Over. Three point advantage and three points away 18, from the opening game. 15. Li Shifeng. 35 shots. Costly. Nine, one mistake three, at the sideline, one at the back line, and now this in the middle of the net. That's pretty much the difference. Oh, that's a misjudgment. Oh, he's challenging, yeah. I think. It was called Nishi good. Challenges called in. First time he challenged in this opening game, he was correct, so he still has two challenges left. We are obviously far away, but my initial reaction was that it was long. And that was wrong by me. Well done, line judge. Unsuccessful, one challenge remaining. Serve is over. 16 when you've got those skills to, to play 19. those acute angles across court you really work your opponent look at that backhand yeah. made Li Shifeng stretch to his four, if a backhand net Challenge for Nguida San. And if he's wrong on this, he hasn't any challenges left, but if he's wrong on this, it's game point opportunity for his opponent. So you might as well challenge. I thought it might have clipped the line. And it's close. Here we go. No wide by a whisker. 
for Paul Langach. So it is game point opportunities. Three of them for Michel Van. 20, game point 17. Just the inside edge 18, of the line. 20. That is nigh on perfection. Look at this. Wow. One of the three game points brilliantly saved. Super. And on his second game point opportunity, Li Shifan takes the opening game 21 18 against the world champion Hunlewood's widow son. 30 minutes for the opening game. the sort of angled shots that I want to see a lot more of from this young Chinese player. 21-18 opening game in just under the 30-minute mark. But 2nd game, love all, play. So one game to the good, Li Shifeng, the All England champion, against Kun Lewut Tawida San, the world champion. This is going to be a test, One I think, lower. Steen, to see where Widasan is physically in yeah. his comeback. Yeah. After losing the first game, yeah. having to go two more games to uh, to get a win. And we saw yesterday, that after losing the first game against Jonathan Christie, he uh, lost the second game rather convincingly. Uh, yeah, just to eight. 
Yeah. Fell away drastically, didn't he? Yeah. Oh, that's a lovely net shot. That is over. One all. Big miss. Two, one. In the middle of the net. Thank you. Three, one. He's pushed it wide. Save is over. Two, three. You've seen throughout the match that some of the shots that are efficient for Bitsitsan, except for the uh, smashes, but it's also the fast paced cross sort of drop shot, sliced, smashing. The fast paced but quickly hit. Wait, that's oh, wow, that's good movement, isn't it? Save is over. Four, two. Just sensational. Well, you won't see a better Seven shot over. than that. Three, four. In the dive position, a full stretch. Win sun and plays the perfect cross court net shot. That is amazing. Thank it you. Was so super close to the net. I wasn't at first. I thought that's that's a great shot, but then I thought, did it come over? Yeah. Unbelievable. I can't help uh, comparing him to uh, Rachin Aginsenan because both of them are so technically strong. Yeah. Same junior career, three times world champion, winning the senior world championship at an early age. Same coach. Same coach. Knows a thing or two about uh, technical skills. Touch. 
one more time. Oh, it's done it again. And that's landed well in. Four all. Good pictures there from the technical perspective where we see it from the floor level. Lots of small deceptions on the clears that are difficult to see when the camera goes so high above the ground. the fans. Yeah, there's some small clusters of uh, Jayo here yes. in the arena. But, yeah. um, Attacking play. This is a good phase by the world champion. Six four. This is a run of five straight points now for Kumaru to his son. Well, Lee Shi Feng achieved something rather special this year on the world tour. Steen, the only men's singles player to achieve it, so there was three women's singles players to achieve it, and that was contest on the world tour. contesting finals at all four levels. Yeah, he was in the, Seven, um, the German Open final in the Super 300. Canadian Open, French Open, all England, of course. Yeah. Very special. Was he in the final of, of German Open? I got in doubt. Yeah, he was in the final. He lost to Anka Long, who was in two finals in two weeks. Oh, yeah, because he played him in All England, Five, where Anka Long withdrew. So he won All England after being in the final in Germany. That's 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 impressive. Yeah. And he beat his opponent of today in the very first round of the German Open before getting to the final. Nobody told him that it was difficult. <laughs> <laughs> Service over. Eight, five. And for the record, the three singles, women's singles players who contested finals at all four levels were Anse Young, Carolina Marin 
and Akane Yamaguchi. Yeah, that's well left. As long as, as the shot quality Nine, of um, Vitsan holds up, then he is actually uh, controlling the rallies and, and doing well. I think in the first game we saw errors creep in uh, backline, sideline. Well, we just saw this one seven of the last eight points. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. that's lovely. Make that eight of the last nine points. Ten, five. Can change direction there. Lee Shifeng. He's missed it. 11, two, four Interval. down to 11, five at the mid game interval. That is an extraordinary run of points from Kunla Wutwidasan. Has the advantage, 11, five in this second game. So nine of the last ten points to this man. Eleven five. Extraordinary. Kunawutwidasan just showing us in the last ten points exactly why he won the world title. Service over. Six eleven. Patiently waited for the chance. Li Shifeng. Seven, eleven. Again, super cross match. We saw it a couple of times yesterday against the Hansons in his uh, forehand cross. Disguised. Mr. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now it was called goods. We just aren't immediately challenging. Challenges called in. Well, you know what I thought. Yeah, that it was wide. Yeah. I tend to agree. Out. 
Service over. 12 7. Play. to me as if Li Shifang was trying to inject a bit of pace in that rally. Pace of movement and pace of shot. Yeah. Oh, he oh, slipped. Service over. Eight thirteen. Decision there by the time he played it, he was having to play his overhead shot with a very bent arm Ten, because 13. the shuttle had dropped so low. Smash. Service over. Fourteen ten. Had to be a winner, though, didn't it? Because he was really off balance. He was <laughs> never going to get back for the next shot. Lost the last four matches uh, with his own against Li Shifang, hasn't he? It's a wild backhand. And Li well, Shifang is working his way back into this second game. Five of the last six points. seem like much but I can tell you there's a lot of deception on the shot that's why Nishi Fung is stranded 15, 12. 
I think our poor umpire was trying to cough in the middle of that rally <laughs> and uh, try and <laughs> muffle the sound of it. Can he call it on, on himself in, in that case, actually? If he I disturbs don't know. The game, I don't know either. I suppose if it distracted the players. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. yeah. Poor umpire. sort of attacking play that I love to see from Li Shifeng. 13, 15. A fantastic placement of the smash, almost played it down the pocket of Mitsitsan. Uh, That was a fairly cheap point 13. for Widdison. Superb. 14, 16. Big gulp of air afterwards as well. Look at this. Oh, that's amazing. Lovely shot from Li Shi Funk. of the last 11 points. And one feels that actually the momentum is with Li Shi Feng. Yeah, he's down 13-8 and... 13-7. 13-7. Thank you. And I have a feeling that he's sort of trying to, to raise the pace a little bit, but he's not capable really of of racing it, of being certain of racing it, and, and uh, it's on the edge 15, the way I see it, whether 16. it's it's enough to to uh, catch up on Vitesan or Vitesan's skills is going to, technical skills is going to... See him through. Yeah, see, see him take the second game and force a decider here. And again, <laughs> on a rally. Missed it. Well, that's just unbelievable defense early on in that rally from Kuhn Lewis Widdersan. Look at that block across court. Yeah. 
We've almost played an hour and we haven't finished two games yet. Oh, indecision. Fans here in Handel, absolutely loving that rally. 16-17. Nothing wrong with the lift, but perfect placement on the cross mesh. Well, the match clock is about to tick over the hour mark now. Sixteen, seventeen. that lovely skill again Over. isn't it yeah. that subtle movement 16. of the racket head at the last moment to play the reverse slice and play it across court all the preparation looks exactly the same whether he's going to hit straight or cross it's only that last minute adjustment Two points away from the second game now. In the uh, Widdersan. Fantastic smash. Almost the sort of steepness that the Olympic champion yeah. can generate. That's wonderful. Seventeen nineteen. Yeah, another super straight smash from the round the head position. By Li Shifan. This one not as steep as 18, the previous rally, 19. but just as effective. One point in it. back level 
Good follow up. There was this change of pace that you've been uh, asking for to go a little bit more for the attacks and make the changes of pace. And I think that's his best chance of closing this out in two. Li Shifeng. Of his racket, I think, with that final shot. That's why he made the error. Li Shi Feng, what a time for that to happen. 19. And it means the Kunlu to Widersan has a game point opportunity. Yeah. Court's not been mopped. Power urging them to get back on court. Game point opportunity. Oh, look at the reaction of Li Shi Feng. My goodness me, 20 all and extra points required until there's a clear two point winning margin. Thank you. a challenge. I think that's more of a hoping so do I. challenge than uh, something that he actually believes in. Here we go. It was indeed long. And it is now match point opportunity for Li Shi Fan. Having just saved a match point. Uh, game point himself. Can he close it out in two straight games? the world champion Kun Lu Twitterson in two straight games, saving a game point opportunity in the second and coming from a 7-13 deficit. 
a remarkable comeback by the Asian Games gold medalist, Li Shi Feng. 21-18, 22-20, the margin of his victory. A match lasting an hour and eight minutes. This is the final rally. And I think indeed he did up his game and play a more aggressive style, which saw him through. Sun Jun, his coach, delighted. Yeah. Well said, umpire. Thank your opponent first and then go and celebrate with your coach. Seeing the player's code of conduct. 21-18, 22-20. Confirmation of that scoreline in an hour and eight minutes. So, as they take leave of centre stage, we look forward to our last match this evening, which is a second mixed doubles. Hola. And it features the number one seeds, Feng Yang Zhe and Huan Dongping, up against the former champions and former world champions, Pua Varanukro and Teirat Tanachai of Thailand. Welcome back to Hangzhou. There's two world heritage sites in this magnificent city. The Grand Canal and Westlake. Beautiful scenery where ancient traditions and ancient buildings blend so effortlessly with 